Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we will have discussion on Strap Typhus disease, which is a serious health problem in Asia Pacific region. It is also known as Bush Typhus. Strap Typhus is a genetic disease as well as a vector borne disease. In 1959, who defined genetic disease as the disease that are naturally transmitted between vertebrate animal and human? Whereas the vector borne disease is one that is transmitted by the bite of infected arthropod species. Here, the Streptococcus is a genetic disease as it is transmitted from the rodent, rabbit, and marsupials to human. Here, the rodent, rabbit, and marsupials are vertebrate animal. Whereas it is known as vector borne disease as it is transmitted by the arthropod that is the mite which belongs to Trombiculidae family. Here rodent, rabbit and marsupials are natural host, whereas human is accidental host. The disease is caused by Orinsia susugamusi bacteria. Formerly, this Orinsia susugamusi was called as Rickettsia. The term scrub is used because of the type of vegetation that harbors a vector. Whereas the word typhus is derived from the Greek word typhus, which means fever with stupor. Susuga means small and dangerous, and mushi means insect or mite. The sign and symptoms of scrap typhus usually begin within 10 days of being bitten by the infected mite. The common presentation of the scrap typhus disease include fever, myalgia, that is muscle pain. Headache, body ache, rash, gastrointestinal symptom, presence of eschure. Eschure is a lectrotic lesion at the skin at the site of chigar mite bite. It is reported by Shantani Chakraborty and Nilandu Sharma in 2017 that the prevalence of eschure in patients infected with scarp typhus ranges from 7% to 80%. Another signs and symptoms include Present with paroxia with unknown origin, mental changes that ranges from confusion to coma. People with severe illness may sometimes develop organ failure and bleeding that can be fatal if left untreated. This image shows the transmission of scrap typhus, where the bacteria is transmitted either to rodent or to human. Here human is accidental host. Also the image of the Escher in scrap typhus is shown here. The transmission might act as natural host for Orinsia susugamusi. The might remain infected throughout their life cycle. The life cycle of might is like that egg to larva to nymph to adult. The larvae is the only stage that can transmit the disease to humans and other vertebrates. The larvae also known as chigar. The larvae take the advantage to insert their mouth parts down the hair follicles or pores of mammals rather than piercing or biting the skin. The bacteria present in the salivary gland now enter the body. Transovarial and transstadial transmission are the main mechanism for maintaining Orinsia susugamusi in mite. In transovarial transmission, infection passes from parent to upstream via ovaries. Whereas in transstadial in transmission, infection passes from egg to larvae or adult. The epidemiology: over one billion people are at risk. One million cases occur annually. It is particularly distributed in Shusu Gamusi Triangle. Asia Pacific region include India affected. The Shusu Gamusi Triangle is distributed from Japan in the east through China, the Philippines, tropical Australia in the south, west through India, Pakistan, possibly to Tibet to Afghanistan. It is most common re-emerging disease in India. A re-emerging disease or disease 
that have known for some time had fallen to such low level that they are no longer considered as public health problem are now showing upward trends and have appeared in the areas where they were not previously found the scrap typhus outbreak in india occurred in himachal pradesh sikkim and darjeeling during 2003 to 2004 and 2007 sandy beaches mountain rainforest grassy areas are the ideal place for the infected mites transmission can occur throughout the year but post rainy season are more preferable the host agent environment this is results from the interaction between the agent and the susceptible host in an environment that support the transmission of the agent from a source to that host here rodents are natural host and humans are accidental host agent is orinsia susugamosi they are found in salivary gland of mites vector vector is larval mite or chigger environment the mites are found in grassland forest bush areas wood piles garden and beaches the bacteriology these are pleomorphic organisms that is they change their shape they are gram negative bacteria and belongs to rickettsiaceae family they are obligate intracellular organisms they are rod shaped or cocci shaped occur singly in pairs or in short chains they grow readily in the yolk sac of the embryonated egg of the mite five major cell types are found which are boro kilia carp kato kawasaki next the mortality the mortality ranges from above 1% to 50% it is reported by shantani chakravarti and nilendu sharma in 2017 the predictor of mortality are age children and old age people are have higher mortality rate strain strain to strain the mortality rate varies time of diagnosis scrap typhus if not treated early may have mortality up to 50% whereas if diagnosed early and at specific treatment is initiated the cure rate is very high next the organ involvement people with severe illness will develop organ failure which is fatal if left untreated then diagnosis The laboratory based diagnosis of scrap typhus relies on serological assay like well felix test elisa that is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay indirect immunoperoxidase assay immunofluorescence assays immunochromatographic tests etc the preventive measure of scrap typhus to avoid mite infested areas the following measures should be followed wear protective clothing such as full sleep shirt covered shoes that protect people from attacked by by the chigger mite following personal prophylaxis against the mite vector by impregnating cloths with methicillin chemicals such as parmethrin and benzyl benzoate and the application of mite repellents such as dithyl tolomite to the exposed skin surface the methicillin chemicals are the chemicals that have the capacity to kill the mite mites from the site should be eliminated by the application of chlorinated hydrocarbons such as linden deldrin etc to the ground and vegetation in camps and other populated zones in endemic areas in a population a disease say to be endemic if the disease is a uh, pop if the disease is constantly maintained at a baseline level in a geographic area without external inputs those people working in infested areas should consider impregnating clothing with parmethrin when sitting around or camping ground covers and tent with closed floor should be used 
to avoid mite attack. Lathering with soap in a hot bath or shower will remove both attached and unattached chiggers. Chemoprophylaxis Doxycycline azithromycins are the drug of choice for scrub typhus disease. Thank you. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.